Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to be doing one of my handbag review along with what's in it. Um, this is super fun for me because I have watched so many YouTube video videos about what's in my handbag and I think every lifestyle and fashion YouTuber have their own version of what's in my bag kind of videos and I always wanted to make one of these so today I'm going to be doing that um, it's kind of strange because handbag is like so personal thing I would never want to sh show to anyone what's what do I carry what's in my bag but since I'm doing this video because because of only for my channel so it's exciting it's kind of like human curiosity what people wanted to know what you carry what other women carry and it's, it's exciting at the same time so I think it's just fun um, and uh, I'm so excited to do it um, so if you happen to be new on my channel then welcome um, I'm super excited you are here you found my channel uh, my name is Seema I would love if you consider subscribing below and if you like this video please give a thumbs up so let's get started So I'm going to be doing a review for my Louis Vuitton Turin PM. This is a medium size. It comes in two different sizes, a large and a medium. So for my frame, uh, I'm petite, about 5'1ish. So this is a perfect size for me. Uh, this is a monogram uh, canvas. Uh, this special kind of canvas these bags they last forever even if something happens you can take it to them and they will fix it for you so this is this is just so pretty i wanted to buy this bag for many many years and unfortunately we could not find anywhere in new york new jersey area they all said there was like a one year wait list I bought this, I got this bag in Paris when we went to a uh, Europe tour in, um, I believe it was in August 2018. It's like a really hard time to finding this bag. We went to so many different stores in Paris, like at least four different showrooms. And finally, one showroom said they have only one piece. And if you come first thing in the morning, 9 a.m., you can have it because there's no guarantee every day they get bags and by the time like you get there in the evening most bags are most popular bags are gone on a daily basis so we spent like at least three days just to hunt this bag down and finally i got this bag i was so happy my husband went 6 a.m in the morning um he just got that bag and i'm just so happy um, so it's been about um i would say 18 months and i or quite a bit um, I like to wear this bag in like fall and winter because of a darker color but I wore a lot and as you can see it's in perfect shape it does not even feel like you know anybody touched it it's in perfect condition like it's been 18 months and it looks brand new um, the zipper it's like a butter that's the best thing about these expensive handbags nothing will ever happen even if something happens you take them to Louis Vuitton store and they will fix it for you so the, you know these bags are expensive but they it's worth it it lasts forever um, you carry I will carry forever and I can give it to my daughter or whoever I want to this bag will stay forever like this this bag I'm gonna just read the measurements it's 31 by 21 by 13 centimeters i will convert that in inches for you um but it's a pretty decent size for you know day your regular daily use bag it's not too big it's not too small it fits pretty much everything what i need so it's size wise it's great it's durable it's very easy to access um everything you don't have to really dig in and look for things so i love i love this bag so i'm gonna sh i'm gonna just show you how it looks and how you can carry this bag uh, like i said this is it has this has a long strap and it has a few buckles you can adjust 
uh, based on your height, how tall you are. Uh, I, I just put it on, I think, in third, which is a medium, but you can change. It has a long strap and my favorite style, I can be hand-free and I always prefer crossbody over any other style. So it, it comes to your your hips, so it's perfect size. It's not too high, it's not too long. Um, I love carrying this way and it's just it's just a beautiful beautiful bag i love everything about this bag you what's in it now um, I'm gonna just take out one thing at a time and then I'll show you inside the bag how it looks from inside the color and stuff uh, so the first thing I have my um, my sunglasses it's just the regular sunglasses um, then I have my wallet uh, it's a Chanel compact like a card holder caviar card holder so all my cards I don't like to carry huge wallets um, I don't know, I just, it makes it so bulky and my handbag so heavy. So I always prefer to carry a small wallet, compact wallet. So that's one, all my cards can fit in there. And so this is a perfect size for me. Then I have a little makeup pouch. It's just the regular, I think I got this from Macy's, I believe. It's just a plain, simple uh, pouch. And then I have some some few makeup stuff um my lipstick my favorite brand for lipstick um i have just a face powder in here a uh, little cream and then what else i have i have a couple of uh, um, lens cleaner for my glasses or phone or something and i have a couple of cough drops uh, i think i was coughing last time and i started carrying in my purse so that's it, that's all I have. Um, I don't really carry a lot of makeups either, just lipstick or maybe a face powder, and that's pretty much it. So that's, that's it, that's all in it, in this thing. And then after that, I have, um, I carry my checkbook a lot because uh, there are a couple of kids' activities, they don't take credit cards, so I have to just write a check every time. So I always carry my checkbook with me. Um, I have a little little mirror and then after that I have the, this is my gym bag I hate to carry I don't really carry those like a big duffel bags in the gym um, because I don't take shower in the gym my gym is literally like five minutes away so I just do my workout and come home and then I change shower whatever um, so I just carry this pouch to the gym it has all my uh, stuff what I need uh, my workout gloves uh, my music my jabra thing this is really cool it does not fall no matter how fast I'm running or exercising this is really good so I have this and then I have my membership cards and my locker um, usual nothing crazy this this pouch is this coach bag is so small, but I stuff so many things in there. So, because I don't want to carry like a big duffel bag, I hate those. Um, so I just stuff everything in there. Um, and I don't really carry this pouch all the time in my bag. Sometimes I just leave this in my car, um, but I just keep it together. So in, in case if I decide to go to the gym, I have everything in one place. So that's pretty much it. And then, um, that's all I have right now in this bag and now you can see from inside this is a nice like a purple kind of um, color I would I don't know it's a purple looks like purplish um, so this one side I have like a two pocket like you can put little you can organize things and then other side is also one big pocket you can put a lot of things this is the this is where I put my checkbook so it's always there I can see um so yeah this is this is how it looks 
from inside, from outside. Um, so, so now I'm going to put everything back and then you can see how much more space is still there. Um, I'm going to put everything back. Space. I could carry even my iPad if I want to. Um, actually, my iPad is right here. If I want to, I can carry. See, it fits. My iPad also fits. Um, um, actually, I got this bag like two years ago. And at that time, Alina used to wear a diaper and I used to carry her sippy cups. I would carry like a small baby pouch in my bag, just a little snack or sippy cup or little one diaper or like a small wife, just in case, um, you know, if I don't want to carry like a full diaper bag and all those things could fit in there. And I'm just so happy I don't have to carry baby stuff anymore. Uh, this is all just my bag, my stuff. And I love this bag. And so this is, um, I have no regret. This was an expensive bag. And I think purchasing in Paris was a very smart decision because uh, there was about almost $350 price difference if, if you buy in New York or if you buy in Europe. And I did all those calculations before we went to Europe tour. And I knew you could save money uh, in VAT. And there's a whole uh, website if you want to calculate like what's the price difference, how much money you're going to get after uh, your taxes and stuff. Uh, if you are in the market to buy a Louis Vuitton bag, you should definitely consider this is a gorgeous bag. Um, it, and if you think you're going to be making a trip to Paris or, or any other European countries, you should wait not to buy in North America. Um, there's a big price difference. Um, I think you could save definitely up to $300 um, if you're buying here versus New York versus Paris. So that's my um, my review for Louis Vuitton um, Doreen PM handbag. I hope you liked the review and I hope you enjoyed this video overall. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.